The iframe widget allows you to embed iframe code into exhibit pages. This type of code is often provided by third-party services, but can also be manually created. To use the iframe widget on a feature page, navigate to your dashboard and select Feature Pages from the Curation submenu. Under Custom Pages, click Edit for the feature page where you'd like to add the iframe widget. You can also get to the same editing interface by clicking the red Edit button at the top right corner of a feature page. Click the red plus sign to the left of the box to open up the widget menu and choose the iframe widget from the list of standard widgets. I'm going to add two of these so that I can show you two examples. The required information for this widget is the iframe code for the web content. This content may be found in different places, so let's look at two common examples. For YouTube videos, click on the share icon under the video and choose embed from the list of options. In the window that appears, you will see several options you can choose from that will change what is included with the embedded content. You can choose where the video will start and whether to include player controls and other features. Be sure to select these before you copy the iframe code, as the code will change based on what you select. When you have set the features how you would like them, scroll back up to the top of this window and select and copy the iframe code, and paste this code into the box in the iframe widget on your feature page. For slide share, you will need to click a similar share button under the presentation. Click on the embed text, and you'll see options for size, and start slide. Again, make your selections before copying the iframe code, and then paste that code into the iframe widget on your feature page. Be sure to click on the Save Changes button to save your work. You'll see that the video and slide presentation are now embedded on the page. In this case, I don't like the text next to the slide presentation. Let's change this. Click on the red Edit button at the top right corner of the page. Look at the embed code for the slide presentation. The iframe code is surrounded by the word iframe enclosed in angle brackets. In this example, you'll see that there is actually a piece of content that is completely outside the iframe code. This section includes only the text with the title and author of the presentation. You can delete this information without affecting the iframe. It would be appropriate to include the title and author of the content on the page somewhere else. Be sure to click on the Save Changes button to save your work. You'll now see that the text is gone from the page.